Everybody knows what tango is? Sure, they will, yeah. How, how, many, how many of you ever danced tango in your past? Raise your hands. <laughs> Mainly ladies, okay. It says something. Did you know that uh, originally tango was danced by two men only? And now I do like Donald Trump does. Did you know that today's tango is a mixture of different cultures? I made notes. It's a mixture of German waltz, Czech polka, Polish Mazurek dance, Cuban Spanish habanera, and also Argentinian milonga. Still very good morning to you, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Chairman, Chairman Lady, dear colleagues, friends, former business partners, former clients, existing clients, existing colleagues, and close friends. Very welcome to my short presentation on the request of the organizers to make it short. In my presentation, indeed, I would like to show you that it takes maybe two people to dance tango together, but in business terms, just to show you how you can combine a couple of technological tricks to make sure that your customers, they can experience the best ever customer journey. I think I should be using this one. Okay. Back to 2016, Fris launched first digital transformation server. Last year, we did the same exercise, addressing a bunch of important questions to around 200 uh, industry individuals, managers, and C-level executives, asking questions on the future of the insurance industry. What came out of, of this survey, those are 10 points that are either on the agendas of executives or those items, they keep them awake during the night. So if we get a little bit more into details, we'll see, and this is what comes out of the survey, that more than three quarters of all respondents, they see artificial intelligence and technological advancement as a key factor and transformation of the insurance industry for the future. What is also important that more than 60% of insurers, they work sometimes with simple, sometimes with more complicated tele technological tools just to detect and to better say, to combat fraud. But only 26% of insurers, they declare that they use straight through processing for various uh, areas of their operation just to satisfy customers, just to help their customers in the customer journey through their own organization. And here, in our perspective, in Fris perspective, there's a room for improvement. Let me prove it. So imagine this is a portfolio of your clients. Imagine that some of those individuals, they report claim to your organization. Those guys in, let's name it blue, dark blue. Only 15%, and this is what comes out of the survey, only 15% of those individuals, which is two and a half, if I'm correct, those will be fraudulent attempts. The problem, which we've noticed, <coughs> reviewing all the responses from, from uh, all those 200 respondents, is that we as industry, we treat the whole portfolio of people the same way we treat fraudsters. So do you think, this is good for the industry. Do you think that honest people, they should be treated the same way? Probably not. So there's also a room for change when it comes to the insurance industry. So to make the long story short, I think we started treating customers like cheaters, which has been almost incorporated into the policy wording over the last years. So we've got, let's say, two sides of the same coin. If we have a look from, let's say, 10 or 20 years perspective, we've noticed that customers from being very traditional, searching for coverages with their agents or brokers, with very slow pace, they switch into modern technology. Modern technology, which means today that they want everything quicker. With two clicks away, this is a famous expression, they want to have their quotation on the screen. Maybe with two clicks away, they want their claim to be processed to a certain extent and they don't really care. If there is a fraudster like this green duck over there, they just want their claim to go down the river as fast as possible till the moment it's settled. Because that's the moment and that's the technology which helps them to, 
to prove that they are important to the organization. So this is one side of the coin. On the other side of the coin, we as insurance industry, we want automation. We also want to deploy different tools just to help those individuals to go through the whole journey in our organization, irrespectively what is happening in between. So if there's a fraudster there, they don't really care. And we as organization, we, we do care about our portfolio, about our result. And we want to use automation and digital tools just to pick up this bloody fraudster and just to make sure that the others, they can swim down the river to the final moment when compensation is paid. With today's technology, uh, you can address a number of things in one pot. So we can focus on the first, let's say, net, as we can say, which is underwriting. You can deploy tools to help you to identify what kind of risks you would like to enter into your portfolio, what type of risk on individuals you don't want to see in your portfolio. The same happens with detection of real fraudsters when it comes to claims management process. With certain tools, you can easily see if you want to proceed this quickly, so to enhance straight through processing, or maybe you should spend a little bit more time just to prove that this is a real fraud, or maybe just to gather some additional information on that. Or, if this is a real fraud, just to connect different dots, different individuals, bank account numbers, or maybe telephone numbers, just to respond properly, respond to your sentiment, what does it mean to respond, to respond properly to certain attempts of fraudulent uh, behaviors. So imagine you had a tool, as simple as this one, traffic lights, which is used by billions of people every day. Depending on the color, you either stop at the traffic or you just accelerate, just to drive directly to the place where you want to end up your journey. Imagine that with support of technology, you can have such a simple solution, like traffic lights, in your organization, which is embedded into your core system. Depending on what is happening, what color you see, you can either go into straight through processing mode, or you can stop certain activities, or refer to senior claim handlers for further reviewing, or just stop completely. And the same goes for underwriting, where you can immediately, and especially this is important for online insurers, you can immediately process online applications, or you can stop and gather additional information. Technology helps you to do everything in real time. So this is a, a very pragmatic example. Depending on the free score, depending on the color, you can perform different activities. I, I hope you can read this from, from behind. What is important from today's perspective, uh, fr from today's presentation perspective, is here, green. So we ensure that we can process it fast and focus on service level instead of processing again and again. Quite often, it, it depends on how digital organization is, quite often in paper format. So why I'm saying this? Because with straight through processing, certain notions can be easily handled. I mean loyalty, loyalty of our customers. Loyal customers, they will disseminate the message to other people. So there's a rule of thumb in marketing which says that happy customer shares his experience with minimum five people. Just imagine how influential it is to get new customers entering your portfolio. But also, they are more keen on upselling, so you can sell more products to them because they were satisfied in the process of <coughs> either underwriting or claims. So straight through processing creates an added value to customer journey of your policyholders and clients. So at the end of the day, you'll be seeing happy customers, but also you'll be enjoying your healthy portfolio. Does it sound good from your perspective? <coughs> So, you've seen this slide like a couple of minutes ago, and here comes a little quiz for you. There are some great prizes to be won, and the question is as follows. You are a great audience. Okay, doesn't work. Okay. So, this is the quiz. 
you are a great audience, you have listened to me carefully. You remember one of the first slides when I addressed the findings from the Digital Transformation Survey. So who thinks, raise your hands, that uh, emerging technology number one is Internet of Things? Raise your hands. Okay. B, mobile apps. Okay, it's quite a nice population. Blockchain. Okay. I'm sure that majority of people, they already have seen this, this uh, survey. Okay. And artificial intelligence and machine learning. Okay. And the winner is... Okay, artificial intelligence and machine learning. Those great prizes are over there on the table, chocolate bars, so feel free to grab them and also feel free to talk to me and to Simon because as I said, this is a very short presentation. I'm addressing just a few bullet points I just wanted to share with you. Uh, the topic is much wider. We are happy to help you out with this, but indeed artificial intelligence and machine learning, those two are critical uh, and most popular technologies this year and probably for next two or three years ahead. So, uh, okay. Xprime, please invest in batteries. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> but uh, relying fully on artificial intelligence, it's a little bit tricky. What do you think about this statement? Is this, does it sound good? Does it sound real? What we as humans, we can do with that, such a kind of statement? Does it add value? <coughs> Probably not. So please, be careful, because deployment of artificial intelligence is very tricky, and it should be assisted by batteries. By batteries, yeah. It should be assisted by human intelligence. Okay. At Freeze, we combined not only artificial intelligence, machine learning, and a few other things, but also years of experience working on business rules for the insurance industry. So you can benefit from a number of things. In particular, I would like to bring your attention to a couple of things. First, out of the box available solution, which can be integrated into your cost system. This can be done quickly. And this is our brand promise. What we can do and what we promise to our clients is that for each and every euro you spend, in return, within 12 months, you will get minimum four euros back. So keep this in mind. Okay? And I've just returned from London, and what they say, they, they say that the proof of a pudding is in its eating. Indeed, this is the proof of our pudding, 160 implementations. You can see some big names. Uh, so colleagues from VIG and Unica, there are some colleagues from Unica as well, they can prove it as well. Those are big names for traditional distribution insurers, but also for online distribution insurers. There are also entities like leasing companies, but also organizations like Shufa. You know what Shufa is? It's a kind of credit risk uh, association in Germany. So they deployed our artificial intelligence and hybrid fraud detection model just to do screenings, real-time screenings, uh, for all the individuals <coughs> wanting to have some kind of credit or any mortgage facility. So that's been proven uh, in action. Moreover, I would like to put my finger here, Munich Re. After a very detailed review, Munich Re decided to choose Fris as the partner. So quite often, we are written as a must-have preferred fraud provider in their obligatory treaties, especially for motor treaties. So, Apologies for that. So, ladies and gentlemen, I started with tango. I used to dance in my past, so I know tango is very challenging and demanding dance. But on the other hand, we at Frizz, we can place a very nice music to help you out to dance your own tango with your customers. Any questions, any comments, feel free to ask. And I invite you to talk to me and Simon on the back of this room and grab your own chocolate bar because those are very delicious. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.